Disneyland is still closed because of the virus, but tomorrow the resort will open Buena Vista Street inside California Adventure. NBC4's Vicki Vargas got a preview of what you'll see and what you'll have to do to get in. Disney officials call this a phased reopening, the first time they've been able to open another gate since downtown Disney opened four months ago. Park officials consider this an extension of downtown Disney. No rides, but you can shop and eat mouse treats to your heart's content. All dining is outdoors. Inside, browsing will be at limited capacity. As in downtown Disney, guests to and over must wear face coverings and have their temperature checked. Employees go through two screenings before they come to work at home and on site. Happy birthday! Disney fans like Tina Gurney came to celebrate Mickey Mouse's birthday, even if she can't do so inside the Magic Kingdom. And I think Disney's doing a really good job keeping us safe and feeling safe here. And I feel that they could do that in the park. But I also understand that they have to kind of draw lines somewhere. In September, Disney announced it would be laying off 28,000 employees company wide. I'm a little emotional about it, actually. Samantha Whiteley had worked in Tomorrowland. Being able to be part of that, of that magic every day, uh, it becomes like a piece of your identity almost. So to have lost that, it is very, very sad. Experts say when the park was open, tourists spent nearly two billion dollars a year at surrounding businesses. Opening the stores and restaurants was one way to try to regain some of that economic magic. We're here, we're shopping, but we really wish we were inside on the ride. In this case, no pixie dust was needed. The lines to get into some of the stores now require a timed reservation. If the opening of downtown Disney was any indication back in July, then be prepared to wait based on the popularity of Buena Vista Street. In Anaheim, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.